It's the epic tale of Pompey's final days. It was the jewel of our empire. Directed by action movie expert Paul W.S. Anderson, Pompey stars Game of Thrones veteran Kit Harington as the slave-turned-gladiator Milo. A place of corruption. Kill them. He finds himself in a race against time to save his true love played by Emily Browning. I didn't know anything about the sort of mummified corpses that, you know, are still in Pompeii now, and I thought that was incredible. You can look through these pictures of, you know, these people, the moment that, that they were sort of mummified in, in the lava and these people, like some people cowering and some people like embracing and it's just, it's incredible that that still exists, you know, that sort of physical memory of this incredible tragedy, the fact that you can still actually go and physically see it is, is kind of amazing. In order to make the scenes as realistic as possible, the director had an entire city created in Toronto, Canada. The movie tries to provide a faithful portrayal of the way Romans lived at the time. It surprised me also how advanced civilization was in 79 AD. There's very, there's very little difference, you know. The sewage system, they had it all going on down there. I mean, um, so it, it blew me away how they were partying in Pompeii, you know. That was the real Vegas. If breathtaking 3D special effects mixed with a touching love story and adrenaline-infused gladiator action are what you're looking for, this is the film for you. We have to get to the harbor. We will go together. Also starring Carrie-Anne Moss and Kiefer Sutherland, Pompeii opens in most cinema theaters this month. <laughs>